Introducing Carvana Value Tracker, where you can track your car's value over time and learn what's driving it. It might make you excited. Whoa, didn't know my car was valued this high. It might make you nervous. Uh-oh, market's flooded. My car's value just dipped 2.3%. It might make you optimistic. Our low mileage is paying off. Our value's up. And it might make you realistic. Mm, car prices haven't gone up in a couple weeks. Maybe it's time to sell. But it will definitely make you an expert on your car's value. Carvana Value Tracker. Visit Carvana.com to start tracking your car's value today. This is Converse with Us with Chris Donovan and Evelyn Rivas. We're back. Finally, we took a week off because chaos, but other than that, we're back. <laughs> Isn't that always the case with us? Of course. Hey, welcome to Converse with Us. We're so happy to be here with you. Really did miss it last week, not doing it together. That's my wife, Evelyn. <laughs> I'm Chris. It might, the kids said it when we got here. That's true. In the intro. Aiden did. <laughs> oh no, it's Julene in the it's, intro. I think it's Julene. It's in the intro, <laughs> well, yes. welcome back. Yes, we're here. Hey, thanks guys for being patient. And in, thank you for listening again. And, and thanks for coming back. And today in food, <laughs> listen to that transition. You like that? It's like I'm in radio. Oh my God. That was a horrible transition. Now today in food, we'll be speaking with Evelyn. Is no, that's that's not a good how throw. that works. No, that's really bad. Oh God! I wonder. I don't have a job. Stop! It. <laughs> this is your job. Shut up and do it. <laughs> okay, so what I cook? Uh, what did you cook? Yeah, let's talk about the food though. Like yes. for real, for real. Because I'm still eating it. So uh, yeah, you are. <laughs> and, and Cassie had the rest of the steak yesterday too. So anyway, what what I did over the weekend? Uh, I think it was Sunday. Yeah, it was Sunday. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did a tri tip on the barbecue. Yeah, you did. And it cooked for like three hours. Yeah, Really I did. low temperatures. Put some baked potatoes on there that were really small. Mm-hmm. So I packaged them up together. I know. That was my bad. My fail. Yeah, you I did inst- buy the wrong potatoes. I Instacarted, and they looked big in the picture. Uh, that's what they always say. <laughs> they always say that it looks bigger in the picture. I, and then I got it, and it was small. They were small. They so, were small they bags were of potatoes. Yeah, but they were still tasty. Yeah, yeah. they were russets, very good. Baby russets. <laughs> they were very good. So I got the tri-tip out there. And I didn't do a whole lot to it. I just did a little bit of um, seasoning salt. Yeah, a little rub. Uh, garlic, salt, garlic. Stuff like that. Our go-to. So our go-to in this house. Mm-hmm. Laurie's seasoning salt and garlic, garlic salt. salt. And I do put, Every time. I do put cayenne pepper in there, though. Yeah. You never you, taste it. I didn't taste it. No, I usually, I usually dash it on a, a little bit when I'm starting it because... It burns it, off. It does, but it also gives it some flavor. It, maybe. I didn't notice it. I did. May, well, good. You noticed the cayenne in it when no. you're eating it? No, I didn't either. I didn't either. No, but, I, I, but I did have the garlic chili sauce with it. So. The, oh, yeah, because you add, oh, you always got to add some, some sauce. Spicy. Something saucy. Uh, I, I got to tell you. on everything. You put that dish on everything. <laughs> um, it was really good, though. I have to tell you. Um, so juicy. I had the I had a, I had a steak burrito Monday night. Oh, I cut it up and, nice. and, and, and just mm, got it. With I so had much. it for lunch. Yeah. And then yesterday. You said something about. <laughs> baked potato a day keeps a doctor away what was that so so here's what happened what happened was <laughs> we made basically the whole bag of potatoes right i did okay so they were you know not big russets again they were the smaller russets mm-hmm. not the tiny ones but the medium-ish ones yep and you made a ton of them so it was like way too much for just the five of us to have you know that amount of potatoes but yeah. we can't let them go to waste they wouldn't they would be in breakfast well you are... i've been eating a potato a day since that meal <laughs> <laughs> it's only two days it's been three or four days <laughs> we did it on uh, saturday I it was sunday i cooked it i don't remember i don't either saturday no it, it was, was saturday because on sunday we went to romano's for pizza that's right and i was working on the roof with cassie on yeah saturday. so we, you didn't cook that day so saturday so you had yeah sunday saturday sunday monday tuesday yeah, four days i've eaten a potato at least one potato every day well and there, but then. some of them are really small though yeah make me feel better about all those I'm carbs trying not to actually. <laughs> well i had okay, if so i'm funny. being really truthful <laughs> she just wanted the carbs Oh my god, they're so good! I have no self discipline. You don't whatsoever. At all. And when there was just a whole big old tray of it in our fridge, I'm just like, you know, better me than the garbage. You know what I mean? So I grabbed one and I cut it open and I slice up little squares of butter 
And I put a little bit of cheese and a lot of bit of garlic salt. <laughs> and I put it in the microwave. And it feels like it's just come out of the oven. In barbecue. Oh, so good. Yeah, I, 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 I do ranch and cheese. We have one left, by the way. Oh, you know what's Don't sad? tell Cassie. Because I don't eat. I didn't eat yet really a whole lot today. So I'm starving thinking about you. <laughs> you, you talk about <laughs> the way the I make potatoes. it. Okay. Okay. True story. So baked potatoes used to be my love language. Love language. Um, <laughs> I think we've talked about potatoes in the back. I, how when I like when I was growing up, I made the I would make box potatoes. Yeah. You know, all the time after school. Like I just. Did you only marry me because of my mashed potatoes? 100. Because <laughs> that's what your family <laughs> always requests. At, you make the, good mashed potatoes. At the uh, festival dinners we have. <laughs> yes. Um, so festival of dinners. Yes, that that too. Uh, yeah, so so I love baked potatoes. So when I used to work, I think I've talked about this before, but hey, if you haven't heard all the podcasts, you don't know. Uh, when I used to work at Macy's, I would go to the, that baked potato place that oh. was in the food court. And oh, those potatoes were big. Those were my fatty lunches. The only Back place- when I couldn't, you know, gain weight the way I do now. Well, before children. <laughs> before kids. Before, yeah, all 40. of that. Before 40. Uh, no, uh, there's not a whole lot of places to go buy a baked potato. I think Wendy's is like the only place. Do they still do that? I think they do. And, and, and chili, there's too. a place down the street from us, Spuds and Suds or whatever. Oh, or yeah. sub, Subs and Spuds. Do they do know. baked potatoes there? They do. Well, that's why it's uh, Spuds. I just thought it was... French fries or something. Yeah. No, no, no. They for sure do. But but they're not open all the time. Like they have like particular, I think because COVID, like they have different hours right now. But They're, they're in the building with the bank, right? Uh, no, they have their own separate building that I oh. know of. Oh. Pretty sure. Hmm. Buy two potatoes for $10. Okay, we're going right now. I'm looking at the menu right now because, wait, there's nothing online. Oh, well, that's because they're a mom and pop. They're like a little mom and pop shop. But they make really good potatoes there. I know from experience. But um, <laughs> well, didn't, you, didn't you used to live down in this area? I did. I used to live down the street because I. This is yeah. This is the second time me living in Canyon Crest. When I lived in the apartments that were right down the street from that place, mm-hmm. that was like a go-to. Like, what are we getting? We getting some spuds. Damn, they got breakfast too. Do they have breakfast? They have breakfast wraps or plates, Shut veggie up. omelet, veggie croissant, a chorizo wrap, mm. French toast. You know, buffalo one- chicken and provolone cheese sandwich. You know, on one of the potatoes that i ate by myself yesterday mm-hmm. on one of them <laughs> i added bacon oh we have bacon bits yeah we have bacon bits and i just threw some of those bacon bits on that mofo i think we're going to be going to this place next week for our show because should we they have a taco potato which is taco meat <laughs> cheddar Let's... shower cream chives and salsa in your potato thank you for tacoing about it you got it you'll probably go the broccoli and cheese stuffed potato. <gasps> i love a broccoli and cheese stuffed potato they have an antipasta you'd probably enjoy. See, here's Jeez, the this prob- place looks great. Cheese, this place looks great. <laughs> wow. Kids grilled cheese, kids peanut butter and jelly, turkey. Okay, so so let's, okay. So I mean, I, that is not too? on diet, though, like at all. No. So that's going to be just my carb for the day. I think I, I might go there for <laughs> breakfast by myself one day or something. You, If you go there for your breakfast by yourself, I'm gonna go there right don't now. bother coming I'm home. I'm hungry. <laughs> pesto chicken panini sandwich, jalapeno oh, steak sandwich. Wait, wait, that pesto sounds good. Pesto sauce, I love spinach, pesto. tomato, and provolone cheese pressed on a panini grill. I wonder if it's a George Foreman. Maybe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do they make wow. it as good as the paninis at Disney? Or better? I doubt it. Probably better. <laughs> Probably better. <laughs> Jumbo potato. Bacon bits, broccoli, chili ham, turkey, mushroom, cheese, and sour cream. Mm, I love me a good mushroom, but I don't know about all my baked potato. I don't know about ham and turkey on my baked potato. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that. I mean, at that. that at that point, you're just having Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, mushroom, onion, and cheese stuffed potato. God dang it! Okay, gonna, oh, right. chili and cheese. Oh Jesus! Okay, I'll stop. Sorry. Reading. Anyway, yeah, your your there. meat was good, by the way, but yeah. the potatoes. Yeah, <laughs> the potatoes were the the. You like you. I liked your meat, but the potatoes were awesome. I'm trying to go a little deeper with that joke, but I can't right now. <laughs> Threw you off. Yeah, I know. It got got me off balance here. Uh, but no, uh, I do like doing tri tips. I do like doing them very long. I like when you do a long tri tip. Yeah, and please you, every weekend do a long tri tip. Can, can we make a date for it? Sure. <laughs> can we schedule that in? I'll get to the long tri tip this weekend. We have Super Bowl this weekend. So. We do. Can you do some long? Try tip on Super Bowl? Maybe, but let's get into right now, right now <laughs> okay, first. Okay, fine. He's trying to change the subject. Right now, right now. 
right now, right now. What's it right now, right now? That oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. I am so pissed off at that suburban right now. I get finally get it fixed. The battery works. I, the alarm's undone. We figured out the trailer brakes was pulling power, and that's why it kept dying. Does, do people know this story? Do we talk about this? Yes. Okay, I, I sure can't that, remember. Anyway, I have a suburban we that's a this. pain in the ass. And then I get it halfway, almost all the way home, right before Rubido, and yeah. I'm blowing white smoke. So I get off the freeway, drive it all the you way home. You call me, yeah. freaking out, and I'm like, out. you were upset, and I'm like, oh my God, do you need me to come get you? Pull over, I'll come and get you and F that truck, you know, like, leave it on the side of the road. And Ooh. he's like, no. No, I'm going to make it. I'm on the side streets. Yeah. I'm just going to dr- go slow and I will get it home. I'm like, no, this effing truck that we paid all kinds of money to freaking fix. A lot of times. Yeah. No, it's now the transmission just, just, just took a dump. Seriously? So, yeah. so what are we, what's the plan with this damn truck? Well, I don't have one <laughs> because the only reason it's taking it out there was I also wanted to get it smogged because well, I needed to get the tabs done, tags done. For the record, this truck has been the bane of my existence. You haven't done anything to it. Okay, I have. No, no. Bane of my existence. No. <laughs> well, it's now. See, here's what's happening. <laughs> it was a slow burn. Okay, I was burned first. And then it slowly found its way to Chris to finally have him come to the other side and go, yo, you're right. This thing is a piece of shit. <laughs> I think I'm going to take it up to my family up in Washington, convince them to pay me for it. Or just give it to them. Good luck with that. I know, right? But also, they have the land up there, so it'd be perfect to drive. No, around for up there. sure. But it sucks because we, you know, you and my I dad, you and my dad bought it. I know. The whole plan was to, you know, pull the trailer, do all these things with it. My dad leaves, gets his own damn yeah, truck, he buys his own nice <laughs> Toyota Tundra. He's like, I so still it's like, got a truck. Oh, I don't need a truck anymore. And here, keep in mind, and I know that. I they've I've given them enough crap already. Like they, this is like a long running joke. They don't but listen to the show. No, <laughs> my mom might. <laughs> um, no, I've given them enough crap about it because yeah, they knew I, I didn't want this truck. I told him to. I told Christopher to his face. I said, Mister, I don't want a suburban. I want an actual truck with a truck bed. What like if I we're gonna you? get a truck, let's get a truck with a truck bed. I said, Cool. Tell your dad. <laughs> and then I was like, you I didn't. Ca- I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't talk to my dad like that. If he really wants this, I guess you're buying it with him. It's a nice truck. It's it's for it's a '97 suburban. It's got all the upgrades back then. No, it, it everything. was a nice truck. If the, if it ran, if the suburban, <laughs> if, 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 if the if the if the, sub, <laughs> if the transmission wasn't broken, it'd be it'd be great. It'd be a fun. It's a fun ass truck. We drove it all the way up to Bridgeport and Twin Lakes and had fun with it in the mountains and stuff. Oh yeah, we almost rolled it a few times. It was great. We didn't almost <laughs> I'm roll just it. Kidding. <laughs> My God, it's so okay, it was. It, it did feel like we were going. No, to. it wasn't. Chris was like, "We're never in trouble," and I was like, "Tell that to the kids that are screaming in the back." They weren't in trouble. <laughs> the only time they were in trouble is when they started screaming, and it freaked me out. <laughs> We're like going over rocks. I thought we were gonna flip. We had a friend. We had Aiden's little friend with us, Smoldy. and he's like, "Are we gonna die?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "No, just be quiet." But we did make memories. Look at that. Yeah, we went to the snow that year. Oh yeah, that pre-COVID. Was, Pre-COVID. That was so fun. The last time we saw that kid. So what I'm saying is, I'm selling a 1997 <laughs> suburban with a. I want to say it's probably got a six inch lift on it. The spare tires, a full spare. Everyone it's, likes it when they see I it. I love the truck. I, li- I like driving it. I just wish it worked. Okay, I'm done complaining. Go okay, ahead. yeah, let's get rid of that so, thing. What's taking up, up, taking up space in my yard. What's your thingy? Okay, mine, mine is my face is red again. Matches the hat. <laughs> I am. I'm wearing a red hat today. Uh, I am trying to keep my face out of the sun because I had my second microneedling session. And I know this is boring, so I'm just going to tell you the story, though, really quickly. So um, this wonderful uh, woman I've talked to you guys about before, the skin uh, aesthetica in mm-hmm. Redlands. She's just so amazing to me. And anyway, so she treated me to a micro needling, needling session. And Which this is also time, called? Vampire facial. Yeah, that's so weird. Yes. So, okay. So <laughs> so here's the thing. Like, I don't ask, right? She's just like, I really want to treat you to this. And I, want to, I have an idea of a concept that I want to do. And I don't want to give it too much away because it's going to be posted on her socials. Mm-hmm. But um, she wants to do this Q&A while she's doing the microneedling on my face. So we're filming the whole thing, okay? So I'm like, okay, let's do it. I'm down. I'm totally down. Let's, what do you think? She's so amazing. She puts together this bio. She puts together all these great questions. Like, she is the Oprah, but a doctor Oprah. You know what I mean? Like, she's really good. I'm like, girl, you're like, you should be like in front of the camera. She's really cute, by the way. So anyway, I'm like, you're really good at this. And, um, and she's like, okay, okay, well, if this all works out, you know, it'll be fun. And I think we're going to call it like skin deep or something or something like that. Like we're going, talking to you and getting deep and all that. And I'm like, okay. I love this freaking idea. Right. 
So, but all, while while she's talking to you, though, she's she's, she's aerating your face, literally making me bleed. Like, so your whole face is bleeding. Yeah. So, and I can't tell because the whole thing is when you get your micro needling, is you put they put this uh, gel all over your face that's a numbing gel. Okay, so. I'm completely numb and to the point where I feel like I'm kind of slurry because I'm talking and I'm like, um, can I move my mouth? I don't know. Can you tell that I have stuff on my face? So it's kind of (laughs) weird. And uh, she's like, no, you you sound sound. fine. You sound, (laughs) she's like, you sound fine. So she starts doing the microneedling and she's talking. And then at some point she's talking to me about just me, but she's not explaining what she's doing. Right. So I look at her and I'm like, I was like, so am I bleeding? And we all started laughing <laughs> because you were probably it's covered super in blood. obvious. I'm like covered in blood, but I can't tell because I'm not seeing my face. They don't have There's, like a mirror on the roof. So no, you, uh, I probably would have freaked people out. Freak people out. would freak out if they saw their own blood. See, on their face. I don't, I don't want to go see that happen. That's just weird for me. Yeah, it is pretty crazy. But anyway, she was more invasive this time on purpose. So you, Which means... you go in steps. Like the, you start at a little bit less invasive where you don't have, um, as long of a recovery. And then she go, you go a little deeper if your skin can tolerate it. Because the more you do, the better your glow will be in a week. You know, after that, you'll your have glow. Well, so the whole idea is it's recreating your, it's, you're aerating your skin. It's aerating your skin. So <laughs> you're basically you know, you're doing the same thing that they do at golf courses. They go and punch holes in it, yeah, and, get, and it gets more new grass to grow. It's new. Yeah, so it's going to make my collagen grow. So that's the College whole idea. Skin. Collagen. Isn't it skin? Collagen. But isn't that just skin? The col- there's collagen in your skin. Oh, okay. So it's like so, an ingredient. It's like an ingredient. Yeah, but it's in when and the older you get, the less collagen you create. And so you I don't have out of collagen. <laughs> yeah, I know you were not even in collagen. I played baseball in collagen. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> For a little while. Um, so it's supposed to help diminish like pores and fine lines and you know, acne scars or any of that kind of stuff, right? So anyway, so that was the whole idea. We, you know, I'm excited because I liked my results the first time and we didn't, you know, do it as strong. So this time I come home <laughs> after this and I'm like, I'm warning you guys. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah. Oh. Sorry, we were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. It's a lot worse than last time. And I don't mean worse, but you know what I mean? You're My red. face is really red. And there, he's, Chris is like, Oh my God. <laughs> I walk in the door. <laughs> it was a lot. It was a lot. And then uh, after a couple of days, it's like she has a ring around her face because it's around the cheekbones and like mm-hmm. it's a redder. Yeah. Redder. I don't even know if there's a word. Well, so I had it done Friday and today is Tuesday when we're recording. And so if you notice, it's still, there's still red, oh, yeah. redness, but it's a lot better than it was. So the first night, you leave the blood on your face. So you leave it on there for so many hours. It does and great then, things for our bedding. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> and you leave it on your face. And then before bed, you wash it all off. And then you, you'll you really see, like, what your face is going to look like. Because the blood's gone. So it's not as bad. And it's still it was really bad. red. It was, still, <laughs> it was still really red. It's just lighter red parts. Yes. And so sa- Saturday, I'm like, I have to go into work. I hope I don't see anybody, you know. I go into work. I hat. see I wear a hat. Well, cuz she's like don't get in the sun and it just so happens to be the most beautiful weekend. And this week is the most sunny of the all the it's weeks. Super nice out right of now. 2022. It's the hottest week. It's all sunny. So she's like stay out of the sun, girl. Like 2 weeks to stay out of the sun. Be careful you don't want to turn your face brownish cuz you'll two get brown weeks. spots from the yeah, because right now my skin is really raw. You know, it's basically so you think the re- color would not go away then. Yeah, it could be it could you could kind of have some like discoloration for a little while. I bet some people do that on purpose. 
No, it's not like that. It looks like spots. It uh, wouldn't. It wouldn't look like a tan. I don't know. I've seen people do weird, weirder well, things. No, there's a lot of weird, the lizard weirdos. guy we saw at the casino that one time <laughs> <Yes>. backstage. <laughs> <laughs> there are some weirdos out there, but anyway. So today I felt actually like good enough to put makeup on. So I went to work yesterday, and the guys were like, "Hmm, something's wrong with Emily." She didn't take the mask off. <laughs> I did. No, I did. Only Garrison asked, he's like, uh, is that from your thing you did on Friday? I was like, yeah. He goes, oh, okay, okay. He goes, oh, it doesn't look that bad. And I was like, I know, it looks better today. And then O didn't ask, ODM didn't ask me anything because I think he just kept looking at my face like, does she know, does she have a reaction? Yeah, know. like you don't want to, you don't want to be like, like, hey, what's wrong with your face? Or, or, or it's like, <laughs> how far along are you? Yeah, you don't do that. You don't know. Yeah. And here's the thing, like, I, I didn't want to tell him. I just kind of wanted him to keep guessing. You should have wore that red hat. I would have really brought it out. <laughs> I just wanted him to guess. Yeah, right? I'm like, what? My face looks like my hat. Um, <laughs> but then today I was in there and I had, you know, every day I'm like sh- kind of shedding like a uh, dry skin. So then I today I put some makeup on and I, it was, it's, so it's not as bad. Like you, if you just saw me, you wouldn't be like, no. something's wrong with your face. No, you wouldn't. Um, do you think they could do it on my face in the shape of the monkey? Where it's like the, the light are apart. It could be. You are out of control. I know what you're saying. I'll just, I, I, you know, I could just use my hair. You already, you already <laughs> look like that monkey. <laughs> All the hair on my we, chin. We got that logo based on your picture. <laughs> Thanks. I love you too. Anyway, all right. What are we talking about today? Super Bowl. Oh, Super Bowl. Yeah, it's Super Bowl time, right? We're in it. Seahawks and uh, no, we're not in it. We're honey. not in it. This is in our year. Okay, well, it's in Seattle at least. It's going to be a definitely good... not in Seattle. It's not in Seattle either. No, sorry. And Russell Wilson switch teams. He's uh, he was playing in the Pro Bowl this last week. Maybe yeah, that's why you're confused. Yeah, maybe. No, uh, no. It's a. Uh, <laughs> it is cool that it's at a stadium we've been to. Yeah, it is actually it's pretty cool. It's my girlfriend, new Sophie. So- Sophie. Uh, so fine. <laughs> the stadium's badass. I'm glad it's there. It's really cool because NFL has a huge uh, headquarters right across the street where they film NFL game day and all the stuff there. The NFL Network in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Inglewood to be no, no. Yeah, Inglewood because well, it's up to no good. Always it's where the forum is. Right. So uh, yeah, it, it's cool. Rams are in it and Tigers. Rams and Bengals. Who we who we rooting for? Okay, so this is uh, this is kind of one of those things where it's kind of hard to root for. The Rams. Because they're in our division. Right, and but they on, beat the, us. on the other hand, how do we not root for the Rams? Because they're in our division and they beat us. <laughs> <laughs> and they're also like the local home team. Yeah. And I, we are technically in the backyard of the local home team. And they, you know what? Your dad grew up watching them in Anaheim, too. And that's the other thing. My dad is a Rams fan. And you know what? When I was younger, living in my single wide in Benton City. Mm-hmm. Well, yes. outskirts of Benton City. I like how you started that sentence. I had a Rams poster on my wall. You did? I did. I had a Rams. They were in I thought LA it was Raiders. Uh, I did like the Raiders because my dad hated them. Uh, but then I did. I moved here and I realized their fans were kind of jerks sometimes. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. So I stopped liking them and I just decided to you know start liking the Seahawks again because I was from there. Okay. All right. I like that. But the um, Rams, I just had for some reason. I don't know why it was a poster. Was on my it wall. a specific player? Do you remember? No. I just. I don't know. I think it was just. It was probably because they were from L.A. Oh, okay. Yeah. You were just like I want to live. And the Raiders, in LA I think, one day. were from L.A. at the time too. Yeah, they probably were. So that's probably why I'm like I'm gonna move to Los Angeles and that's, I'm gonna like wow. the L.A. teams. That actually is a quite telling. I never really. That could be it. It could I be never, foresh- foreshadowing. Yeah, I never really thought of it, but I did have that. I had the, I was a, I had a big Raiders fan. I had a mm-hmm. lot of Raiders stuff, and then I had a I had a Saint or a L.A. Rams poster. So it was probably just the L.A. teams. Yeah, and now nice. they, now they're in it. So I would love to go, but I can't afford ten thousand dollars for a nosebleed, dude. It's, it's ridiculous. It's out of control. Like the only people that are at the Super Bowl are people that are really wealthy. And that's, or, I mean, or, that's always like that, right? Yeah, everybody um, from uh, what would you say like. Santa Monica Northwest is going. Everybody, the other way. <laughs> everybody else is everybody else tailgating is. in the parking lot. No, dude, parking well, two hundred dollars. Yeah, no, it's thousands. Jeez. No, it's not two hundred dollars. It's thousands. There are people selling parking lot stuff. You know, businesses like, are closing just, down just to sell their parking just lot. to sell their parking lots for four grand. I saw like one particular place was like four thousand a spot. What are you absolutely out of your mind? But this, there's. They're gonna People pay are it. Gonna pay it. They're gonna freaking pay it. And Just I don't nuts. even understand. I mean, they, they they're already at the stadium. Everything's kind of limited. There's limited food, limited everything because of COVID. Mm-hmm. So the, the so the stadium is great and awesome, and there's plenty of places to get a beer, but you're limited in your food, so it kind of sucks. Yeah. I hope they change that for this because if I'm gonna spend seven thousand dollars for a ticket. I'm gonna want like sushi or a burger. Oh, I'm sure there's like very 
particular things. Well, you know, if you buy the twenty thousand dollar booth, you know, yeah. Well, that's, that's only one you ticket. You have to yeah, twenty thousands per ticket on I, the ten thousand dollars just to reserve. It's expensive. But it's I'm, crazy. But what are we gonna do? I'm oh, making here a tri-tip home? eventually. Well, we're definitely not going anywhere near LA. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm, I, well, here's a fun story. I'm actually on the radio during the Super Bowl. <laughs> yes, you are. Coast 103.5 in Los Angeles. So here's, so I'm trying to come up with things to say because clearly I'm going to be talking to a somebody who doesn't care about the Super Bowl, yes. right? Yeah, no, there's going to be any, a lot of them on there, actually. If anybody's listening, it's because they don't care. They could give two craps they're about driving to the super bowl maybe 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 they're driving <laughs> they to the super bowl out of the super bowl yeah, they're definitely not they're like whatever so i'm not gonna keep, i'm not gonna talk too much about the super bowl i will just be like hey yeah big game happening today in la lots of uh, traffic around inglewood be careful <laughs> watch out for sophie she bites <laughs> right something along those lines be safe out there if you're headed out that way but i'm literally on from three to seven so the game, the game starts, starts at three yeah. three thirty so i think my 30 minutes are gonna be maybe targeting people that might be driving there and then the rest is gonna be like completely anti-football really you're not gonna be like <laughs> and the score to no. update you for the super bowl no. is happening at sophie i don't know is 24 I? to 10 Rams. I might be no. I mean, I guess people would want up to the minute. They wouldn't uh, be listening to you if they wanted. No, to I know see. I'm saying they'd be listening on a sports station or something no, like they that. They have the freaking game on the TV. Yo, I got a best of the '80s weekend. Okay, Ooh. I'm gonna be playing that '80s '80s swang. Maybe one of the football players will call in. That'd be so much fun. Be like, hey, baby. Um, they might be busy. Yeah, they might be. Huh? <laughs> No, there'll be other football players. Okay, so who's who's in town that doesn't live here for this, for the NFL? All people that l- play in any team, not in L.A., but, like, all the celebrities are, well, no, when you think about it, like, you think, you know, Kentucky Derby, you think uh, NBA All-Star Game, you know, all the celebrities come out. Yeah. They already all live here. They do, so they don't have to go anywhere. They just literally get to the game. So is it just Travolta flying his plane down to, to join everyone? Is that all for my I home? guess. I don't know. And, like, that's the thing about the tickets. Everybody's here. It's L.A. It's, nope. like, the, it's next door to Hollywood. People I mean, are going to pay those prices, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh. It's going to be the most celebrity-packed Super Bowls ever. So, okay, so we are going to root for the Rams. Is that what we've decided? Yes, but we want a good game. Okay, because I kind of, okay, now there, we need to talk about. The Tigers? The Bengals. Tigers. Why do you call them the Tigers? Because that's what Bengals are. I know, but they're not, that's not their team name. Well, when you say Bengal, I sometimes want to walk like an Egyptian, and that just is confusing. <laughs> so They're spelt different. <laughs> so, I no, I like orange. That's why I like them always. But yeah. Jeff Hope. Jeff Hope, my our, a good friend of ours, is a huge Bengals fan, and I kind of want him. I want to win for him because yeah. he's. They haven't been in the Super Bowl in thirty years. And then back then, it was when they were playing the Niners. Wow, yeah, it was a long time ago. I remember that game. And also, let's talk about their quarterback. Yes, Joe Burrow. He's so cute. He, second year though, that's pretty badass if you think about it. I mean, he's not no. He's no Russell Wilson. Where the first year they went. Did he did Russell go the first year? To the playoffs. But not the Super not Bowl. The Super Bowl. Colin Kaepernick. He didn't go to the Super Bowl. Second year. Look. Look up the stats. Show me right now. Okay, I will. But speaking of that, uh, it, <laughs> Joe Burrow, it's awesome. He's doing so He's great. so cute. Can we talk about that? Uh, you, you can talk about it, but I'm not. He is just the cutest patootie. I'm just like. Patootie? Hi, little Burrow. No, yeah, he's so cute. Like, look at where is pull up his picture. <laughs> you want to pull up a Joe Burrow picture? <laughs> Why do I want to pull up a picture of Joe Burrow? Look at how cute he is. How old is he? Twenty four. Yeah, he's young. No, nah, he's probably like twenty five. I don't know. Let's ask. Wait, is that who I'm thinking? Let me see. Yeah, that's him. Let me see. That's him. Yeah, he's that's cute. Him. He's a cute guy. Yeah, he looks passive. I guess they're all. He does. <laughs> he's a passing aggressor. The passing. <laughs> Look at you oh, punching it up. I like that. Um, okay, so who is the, the other? Colin Kaepernick, I think, went in on, to the Super Bowl in his second year. Maybe even Russell Wilson. Uh, 2013, uh, that would have been his first or second year. I don't know, but yeah, one of those two. But he didn't win, though. They lost, right? I don't remember. I think so. He didn't they, win. I don't remember. They won, though. He won a Super Bowl, didn't he? No. He never won a Super Bowl? I don't think so. Colin Kaepernick never won a Super Bowl? He tr- he led them to the Super Bowl, but he didn't win. Niners haven't won a Super Bowl in a while. I oh, thought. God. I, they were in there like twice, though. Uh-huh. We like, beat him once. We did beat him once. 
Okay, now I'm looking up the Super Bowl <laughs> stats because I can't remember. We're getting in the weeds. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so to be determined. Oh, wait, hold on. Go back. Oh, You're next going... next year the Super Bowl is in Arizona. Oh, nice. And then after that's Vegas, and then New Orleans. So okay, besides stick that, to the script here, buddy. Trying. I need to know my stats here. All right, 2013 San Francisco Ravens. That was the Harbaugh battle, and Harbaugh, John Harbaugh won. Okay, the, okay, okay. That's Kaepernick. That's when he went. Oh, okay. What year? So it was what year? 2012. 2012. And was he the rookie that year, or was he? He was, because the next year the Seahawks went and won the Super Bowl against the Broncos, and that Broncos. would have been Wilson's second year, and they were drafted the same yep. year. Yep, yep. Uh, and See? then. So then Russell the, did take him in the second year. Yes. And Ka- Kaepernick took him in the first. Yes. See? I told you. But I don't think he was the starting quarterback at the time, was he? It doesn't matter. Yes, I think so. Because that's why I didn't like him because of the Russell Wilson thing at the time. I was all like, ew, anti that guy. We're going only Russell Wilson. Well, they lost. Or we (laughs) lost to the Patriots that next year. And then we haven't been back yet. Yeah. So when the 49, how many times the 49ers go? Like just in the last few years. Like they were there the year I remember. 2012. And then before that, it was way before that. Probably when the last time. Oh the, dang! Uh, okay, I thought probably it was the last two times. time the uh, Cincinnati Bengals were in it. <laughs> Hold on, I'm looking. Thirty right years now. later. No, I'm just kidding. No, they were in it a couple other times. Yeah, they after were for that. sure. For sure, they were. They were in '95. Uh, oh dang! But it was that long ago. Okay, okay. The last I thought time for they some were reason '95. I thought for some reason there was two years where it was like a couple years apart. But it's okay. All damn! Good. Look at all this, man. There's so many. Pittsburgh Steelers in here. Anyway, yes, Super Bowl. Are we? We're going to cook try tip. Are you going to make something like a dip or something? I can make my crack dip that everyone loves. <clears throat> make something good. Yikes! No, I like it, but it's you just, don't like my crack dip. It's just get out of my house. It's like it's it's just sour cream dip. That's all it is. No, it's not. It's just orange. Who are you? Anyway, no, I'm thinking like like a seven layer dip or hurt my feelings right now. Spinach dip or artichoke spinach dip. I can try. Okay. I can make that. I, I have been fiending a good artichoke spinach dip because since, since they took it off the menu at Red Robin. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing, but I figured you were going to say the exact same thing. <laughs> that was my favorite place to get it. We'd always just order it. We're like, hey, how are you? Good. Uh, can we get you guys something to drink? Yeah, you can get us this and then some artichoke spinach dip, please. Please, and please, can please. We get, can we get, like, cucumbers on the side? I said celery. celery. I, always, I would always add extra celery. Even though the bread was really good. The bread's great, but it's like when you're trying to cut out a lot of the well, when you're carbiness. Eating a, eating a baked potato a day. I feel judged. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need you to calm down. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I don't really want to go anywhere. No, we're not going nowhere. Well, maybe there may be one possibility that we go to my brother's. Oh. Because my parents are coming into town. Oh, Unless he doesn't have chairs, they decide to come over to our house. <laughs> <laughs> They're working on it. <laughs> I know. I'd actually love to hang out with Jeff and watch the game. Oh, I know, but I'm I'd too, be, I'd it's feel, too stressed out. I'm I'd not feel trying real to be bad around. about rooting for the Rams, though. Next yeah, no, to no, him. I can't. I'm not. I'm not going to be anywhere around where he's going to be stressed out. Well, Jeffrey, if you're listening, good luck with your Tigers. <laughs> yeah, we're rooting for you. We're rooting for a good game and for the Tigers a little bit and the Rams. I think it's kind of cool that the Rams uh, have second year in a row, like the Tampa Bay. Bucks yeah. were in their home stadium for the Super Bowl. That's pretty crazy. If they lose, that's going to be like heartbreaking and like embarrassing. You think they so? They have home field advantage. And they keep yelling, "Whose house?" <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That would be embarrassing. Yeah. Uh, and, or, and it's going to be who day? <laughs> <laughs> whose house? Yeah, who day? <laughs> who day came on him? Whose house? Who house? Um, yeah, it's it's going to be awkward. We'll find out. My co-host is a huge Rams fan, so Valentine's Day is about to be rough. Your current radio husband is a Rams fan, and your ex radio husband is a Tigers fan. Yeah, that's fun. Oh, look at you! Aww. Just you know, look at me sleeping around. So, okay, wait. <laughs> We're just kidding. That has nothing to do with any <laughs> radio husband jerk. I love you. You hus- current husband? Uh, yeah, real husband? <laughs> real husband? God. All right. Um, go to thisisfunner dot com. Check out all the other podcasts. Plus one stories is up there uh, this week's. Yeah. Story coming out tomorrow. My yeah. buddy that I went to radio school with. Yeah. Uh, went to a L.A. club back in the day in his early 20s on his birthday weekend, and he accidentally threw up on a black IP. Okay, this story is actually crazy. Not going to tell you which black IP. 
but listen to it. It'll be out tomorrow on this story. It's hilarious. I heard the recording of this show. I was editing it, and I was laughing out loud the whole time because it was just that funny again. I can't believe that wild of a story that actually really happened. It's cool. Yeah. I like that. I like that podcast. It's really You're going to be on it soon, too. I heard we're going to be doing a recording, so yeah. all right, let's go. Anything else you want to say before we go away? No, everyone have a great week. Be good people. Be Make nice good choices. Sorry, I interrupted. Say that one more time. Be good people. Make good choices. Be good people. Make good choices. Be nice. Be kind. Conversate with us. Conversate with us. Thank you for listening to Conversate with us. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby. Mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa. Take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.